In tonight with homecoming heartbreak, students packed the bleachers tonight to mourn the loss of three students who died on their way home after Friday's football game. Yeah, fourth Meadowbrook High School student is fighting for his life in the hospital. The teens were leaving the homecoming game on Friday when police say the driver lost control of the car and crashed right into a tree. Well, Fox 5's George Franco is live outside the Gwinnett County School tonight and George students held a memorial service tonight. Russell today, an emotional night tonight here at Meadow Creek High School, where a student sponsored vigil was held at the football stadium. Hundreds turned out to honor three students who lost their lives over the weekend. Smile as they look down upon us. They united in prayer at the Meadow Creek High School Stadium, hundreds dressed in black, mourning the loss of three fellow students. In the crowd was Senya Umanzar, sister of one of the victims, 18-year-old Nelson Umanzar. Even though I'm still empty and just completely distraught, I, it makes me kind of happy. To see all the people Yes, here. it really is moving and it, it's, it's a blessing. Gwinnett County Police say Nelson and 18-year-old Brandon Martinez and 16-year-old Nasir Al-Wakil were killed when Martinez lost control of an SUV Friday night on Steve Reynolds Boulevard, not far from the high school. 17-year-old Messiah Allen survived and is hospitalized. They just left the Meadow Creek homecoming football game at the same stadium where the vigil was held. Nasir Al-Wakil's family came to the vigil after his funeral. Showing up at that funeral was a, a, a ton of kids, uh, you know, from from the from the teams and uh, we were just uh, touched. The team Nasir's uncle was talking about was the Meadow Creek lacrosse team. Nasir, Brandon, and Nelson were all members. One thing we definitely are focusing on is to bounce back and to play in their honor and to always get better because that's something about all three of them. They're all always, always striving to become better players and be better people. Parkview's lacrosse team showed up at the vigil since Meadow Creek had played Parkview in football Friday night. They were part of the crowd, lighting candles, sharing prayers, lifting spirits, and releasing balloons in honor of the students who brought so many together. It's really, really hard, but, you know, we're sticking together, keeping our heads strong, putting God first, and, you know, having a lot of faith in our heart.